I've been programming for a while now, but oh boy, it is painful seeing other people code. Online, in person, and on videos. It is as if nobody is taking this seriously. I don't want to gatekeep. You do you. I'm only listing out things I personally grit and smile through very often. Let's begin with touch typing. This is almost your whole job. How can you not touch type yet? This is my only must-have. Touch typing. Do not look. Use all your fingers. Now that that is out of the way, let's look at some of the things that make a difference just because I'm using Emacs and they are not. Yes, the operating system lacking a good editor. Got that out of your system? Let's continue. Navigation. You need to get to a file. So you take your mouse and find that file in the folder hierarchy on the right or on the left and double click to open it in a tab. Control C, P, F, some text vaguely resembling the file name, enter. I'm there. You want to switch to another file? Take your mouse and click on the tab that contains the file. No! Control X, B, vague buffer name, enter. I'm there. What are you doing? Also, why do you need the tree view? What material benefit does it bring? How is it ever useful? It just takes up space. Get rid of it. Moving about is worse. You want to scroll? Take your mouse and scroll. Then you get to approximately where you want to be. You want to get to a specific line? Pick up your hand off the home row and then up, 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 up. I see where I want to be. Alt I, character, whatever it wants me to type, and I'm there. Or if it's close by, Control P, Control N to move up and down. Oh, if I had to go to some other part of the file and now must come back to where I was, Control Space to jump back. You want to select some text, take your mouse, carefully click and drag, and sometimes you overshoot. Let's redo this a few times. Oh my god. In Emacs, Control space, start selection, and then you normal navigate to get where you want to go. Or even better, use alt I to get to something farther away or search for the word to jump to it. Let's look at some coding. You want to jump to definition? Take your mouse, right click, and click the jump to definition. In my setup, Control C, L, W, G, and you're there. Rename something? This is ridiculous. Control C, L, W, R. Git. I see you switching applications to talk to Git, using your mouse for everything. In Emacs, you do Ctrl or G to see the current status, S to stage, and CC to commit. Write your Git message, Ctrl CC to confirm, and then capital P to push to remote. Need help? Press H. You don't know what you're missing. You got this large JSON that you need to edit. How many lines? 300? 3000? Okay, no worries. We can do this slowly, line by line. Or you could record a macro. F3 to start, do your thing. F4 to save. Now F4 replays it. To repeat this n times, Control U, the count, in this case 2800 or whatever. Then F4. That will run the macro a few times. Do not succumb to doing grunt work. My personal limit is 42. If I had to do a repetitive task more than 42 times, I'm figuring a way out. And usually Emacs make that very easy. It is a weird and awesome synergy. Don't use this for data processing that 100 gig file, you maniac. I hope you understand nuances. Did you mess up? Control Z is your friend, of course. Oh, but wait, the state you wanted is already gone. With Emacs, you can keep a branched history of your whole edit. Switch them, copy over things from another timeline. You decide. You have great powers and no responsibilities. This undo history goes beyond your current edit too. If you have the right backup settings turned on, Emacs will keep a versioned history of your file. You forgot something from last week? Go get it, no worries. I've used Emacs now for about 10 years. In that time, I've seen editors come and go. And I've seen people use their favorite IDEs for their current programming environment. The problem is that you have to often start over. New IDE, new set of things to learn. With Emacs, it has been the same few things for the last 10 years. Through Python, C++, JavaScript, TypeScript, C Sharp, Golang, and now Rust. Anyway, 
you can get almost all of these features if you pay attention to your tools. Learn some shortcuts in VS Code or whatever. Don't touch the mouse. Don't stop being productive. Minimum effort, maximum output. You got this. Learn yourself some Emacs. Good luck and see you in the next one.